Welcome to this demonstration of the Norblock KYC platform, a customer-centric, secure environment for creating and sharing digital KYC identities built on a permissioned blockchain. In this demo, we will show how two banks can securely create and share KYC data without duplicating efforts or compromising data integrity, all enabled by the use of proprietary blockchain technology. I'll start by logging in as Bank1. This is the main screen for the bank. First, I create a new data request. I start by typing in the organizational number and then I add details on the data I'm requesting. Finally, I send it over to the customer. Now let's have a look at the customer side. The customer will receive a notification, both by email and in the app, that there is a new data request from Bank1. The customer can then start filling out the information in the easy to use interface. If the bank wishes, they can add tutorials and descriptions to make it easier for the customer to fill out the form. To speed the demo up, we have pre-filled some of the fields. The delegate button allows the customer to collaborate to fill out the form. At the end, the customer will review all the data before submitting it to Bank1. Now back to Bank1. The bank now has a notification to verify data. Bank1 must go through the data and verify that it adheres to all the standards required. The platform will also automatically fetch some fields in the customer profile from public sources of information, such as sanction lists and lists of politically exposed persons. The bank can also ask for more data or set an expiry date at which the data needs to be renewed. When the bank presses verify, signed data goes into the blockchain. Finally, the bank must update the KYC and AML risk for the customer, information that is strictly internal to the bank. The customer now has a profile on the blockchain that carries the stamp of approval of Bank1. The customer is in absolute control of each field of information, and the bank is in absolute control of its stamp attached to each field. Now, let's look at how the process would look like for a second bank asking for the same data. Just like before, Bank2 creates a data request and sends it to the customer. But this time, instead of filling out the data again, the customer software restores the encrypted data from the blockchain. Please note that the bank didn't ask for the cash flow forecast again and that this field has therefore been omitted. The customer only needs to confirm that the data is still valid and up to date and then give access to the data to Bank2. In the Manage My Data tool, the customer can control which bank has access to which data. If the customer updates a field, both banks will receive a notification that the field has been updated. Bank2 can then log in to review the data and to set its own risk rating. Bank2 can also see that Bank1 has already verified and stamped the relevant fields and thus removing a large duplication of work previously required, both for Bank2 and for the customer. For this service, Bank2 will pay Bank1 a fee, and thus achieving a saving for all participants in the network. The bank can also get an overview of the customers through the Manage My Customers interface. In the Generate Report section, it's possible to generate a compliance report. The regulator can read all the encrypted blockchain metadata directly from the blockchain to see who collected and read which information at what time. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the Norblock KYC platform.